Brickmaniacs, welcome back to another special edition of Brickmania TV. Yes. This is the uh, January 2024 January, yes, yeah. <laughs> vault drop. Roll through the months, yeah. January 2024, a new year, new vault. New vault. So, so. once a month, we do that, where we break a kit, <laughs> we put it back together live on Brickmania TV. No, once a month, we release a whole bunch of one of pre-built kits. Right, yeah. This former display practice. models. We don't, want to, we don't want them plowing into the ground upside down here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay, there we go. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So once a month, Brickmania releases a whole bunch of... We add a bunch more stuff to the vault. The vault's yeah. actually open year-round. It is, okay. But we, we stock it up once a month. We go through uh, ret mostly what you see here. I mean, just about everything here is a display model. Yep, so it's in one of our stores, in the window, not in the window, but in the display case. Some of them in the window, and they've, they've been yellowed, so we have to rip, swap out those parts. <laughs> so, yeah, whenever possible, not in the window, but they've been in, on display in yep. the stores. Um, so these are all store-displayed display models. Come back from one of the Brickmania stores. Um, everything you see here is a discontinued kit. They are done. So, so this means this is one of the last few kits for sale anywhere. Right, and some of these are pretty old, so some of these might be the last. Um, you know, we, we've been doing vaults, we, we've been doing this for several years now. This is, um, we get stuff back at irregular times. You know, we tell the stores, hey, send back your display model when X number of kits, when, you know, kit X goes out of stock and we can't give you anymore, then you have to send your display model back. Well, some of these, some, some stores are busier than others. Some, some get rid of their stuff uh, a lot higher turnover rate. Um, I think the vault stuff, I was working on all this, and a lot of this stuff came from our Capitol store. Okay. So it was on display in Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, bigger store, has more inventory, so sometimes their stuff sits around a little, little bit longer. Um, but yeah, so, you, so what you end up doing is getting a various depth of, you know, some of these things might be a year old, some might be two, some might be three or four years old. Right. So there's definitely some last copies, uh, things that I've seen in the vault come, come, come and go before. Like, oh, wow, we still have one of these? Yeah. So um, it's the, this is the last of the big wave of 2023 retirement kits, though. Okay. So there are more stuff in the pipeline, mostly duplicates of stuff that's already available. Um, but we haven't retired anything yet. It, it, at the second half of 2023, okay. um, there's going to be another wave. So this is going to be the last of the old wave. Um, so this might be the last time you see some of these older older kits, uh, period. There's definitely a number of things here that I haven't seen, set my eyes on in over a year, a year or more. Right, right. And things that I absolutely love, um, for so, instance, the CV-90. The CV-90. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the, one of the, the first thing I remember working out with Andreas on. Yeah. And I love the prints on that. It's got the crates in the back. The it's crate, the crate. I've seen that crate in person, that, that, that grenade crate. Yes. It's... <laughs> Because it has the crayon markings for it. Contains socks. It contains yep. socks. Yes, that yep. was that's from Andreas's father, who's in the <laughs> Norwegian Armed Forces. <laughs> yep. So that's based on a real crate. I've it seen that crate. I socks. brought it to a show in Oslo. It's, it's pretty awesome. funny. So yeah, that, that's so this kit to me is just awesome. Stands out my memory. Yeah. Um, I love the RAF tractor so much. Simon, yeah. That's, that's the first thing I remember working on with Simon so, on. And that was, that was uh, Nicholas Kramer's Typhoon. So Nicholas oh, Kramer yeah. did the Typhoon, and Simon was like, I need to do something to, to go with that. So he came up with the, the RAF bomb tractor. They came out at the same time, and it's perfect yeah. because the, R, the Typhoon doesn't come with bombs. You want to get the bombs, the bomb tractor yeah, is the tractor kit for you. Them with you. And that had a unique figure, uh, RAF female, female auxiliary figure. So that, that, that's cool. We've never done yeah. that before. We don't have too many ground crews. It's just not a thing that we, we, we do them occasionally. Yeah. I think I saw a German ground crew guy uh, somewhere in this mix. So uh, I mean, I, I'm all like vault modeled out at this point. <laughs> so other things that stand out to me, the M7, M777. Yeah. Oh, super, super cool. Uh, that's a George Hicks kit. George Hicks, yeah. And Justin Hahn did, did yeah, got, yep, yeah, worked actual together Marine did some, did some consultation on it. So did some yep. refinement on the, on the kit. Uh, yeah. George and Mary did the, the uh, C-RAM. Yeah, super cool. So like CRAM is cool. CRAM kit. When when this came out, one of the guys from the program came into the store and was oogling and ogling like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it!" Because they only made one of these, ah. uh, the powered <laughs> powered CRAM. They made one test bed. Um, a, it's it's a, it's on a single, the only all electric, uh, Oshkosh truck. No way. So yeah. the, because it has so much power, it's an electric truck. They were able to power up the CRAM. That's so that's a unique vehicle in real life. There's only one. Interesting. So it's a one super, of one. Cool. We, so we made 50 times more than they made in real life. 
<laughs> pretty wild. We might have even yeah. made more. I, I did manage to score an extra barrel uh, okay. for the uh, for the phalanx that goes on there too. So awesome. Um, we, whenever possible. So these are vault kits. They come back. They basically go through a refurbishment process. Uh, we go through a checklist and go here. We make sure all the parts, visible parts. We don't tear everything down to the bare nubbins and, and start over. And that is too time consuming. But we mm -hmm. basically go over the model to make sure the figure, uh, printed parts, any rare parts, anything that's unique to that kit. We try to come up with extras if we can. Uh, yeah. Sticker sheets. If we have extra sticker sheets, we'll throw them in. Canvas tops. If we can come up with extras, we have them. Uh, we'll throw them in. Uh, we can't guarantee everything's going to be 100% perfect, but we try hard. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, but this a lot of times this is your last chance. So, hmm. they are they come with the premium price. Um, they have been handled by all the Brickmania team. They've been on display. Kind of cool things. Yeah. Um, it's a little piece it's, of history here. Absolutely. Yeah. It's. You know, it's it, these are things we've worked hard on over the years. Yeah. And it's great to see them again. I haven't seen the me, the Emmy the Emmy one ten. That's that's got the great BF printing in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. There's just uh, so much like good stuff. Camel spots on the side. Yeah, love yeah. It. Oh, the, the rib boat. The that's, rib boat. Yes, that was a George a George Hicks kit. A George Hicks kit, and then and then Lando went overboard. Literally went overboard on the on the, on the mini it with, with an assault team. I, I think we started hmm. out with just the crew, and then by the end of the uh, the process, ended up with an entire seal seal team, team. on there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, what's going on on the end here with the white box, the white and black box? So. People who have been paying attention to the vault lately notice that we've been adding some older kits. So yeah. we are uh, selling off a collection of a longtime Brickmania. Uh, 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 okay. A longtime Brickmania collector. He wants to sell his older stuff so he can continue to buy the newer stuff. So they've been enjoyed. Most of them have been opened up and built. Okay. Um, and you're seeing another another small slice of that. We I think this is like round five or some, something, okay. or maybe round four. Uh, we just put a little bit out at a time because there's so many in this collection, and it goes back to the beginning of Brick Made just about. Yeah. Something like that heavy tractor is from seven or eight years ago, perhaps. Yes, this is just this is the first box the, the first time we did something for uh, CBs. Yeah. So it's a CBs heavy tractor, and that was back in the day before we could even do printing on parts. Right. So I mean that's 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 an ancient kit. These are early black box kits. So we were making when we first started getting into like, hey, let's do some premium sticker packs. Let's do some premium instructions, full color instructions, not laser printed and stuff. Ah. This was this was our first leap into like a premium. And this is kind of the direction that Brickmania went ever since. So mm -hmm. black box became the standard where we start we premium sticker sheets turned into premium printing as we we could afford to buy printers, afford to do what we do now yeah so and get that knowledge base because we we didn't know how to do any of this stuff we started out from nothing now now we have fancy printed parts multiple cross cross piece printing yes um, we do i mean look at that bradley over there it's just like covered oh. in printing um yep. we couldn't do that back in the day texture printed armor yeah. so mm -hmm. we should go over some of these things because there's some really unique things in here um this is this is the universal carrier mark ii which has sort of been in the news lately because uh um, it's been in the news for us because we just we did a classic version of this. Correct. Uh, this yep. is the original. This is this Cody, Cody O'Sell designed this. It's, I was looking at it. it; still has the sticker pack. It never been st stickers never been stuck in it. I don't awesome. think that's ever been taken out of the package. There Correct. is an M eighteen forty one mountain gun. Still shrink wrapped. It's still shrink wrapped. In the early days, we were first starting to shrink wrap things. Um, it's still shrink wrapped, unopened. Uh, I, I believe this flak, uh, the flak veerling has never been taken out of its package either. So there's a few unique things. Uh, I'm cool. really, Big Bertha, uh, I didn't think this thing would sell at all. You know, World War I was not, and still to this day hasn't been a big seller mm -hmm. uh, by comparison to the other things. But this was like, this kit made 50 copies, they're gone, long gone. Oh yeah. Um, it's in one of the, the World War I, the Great War instruction books, but it's, it's, it's one of my favorites working on it. I think it's great. Oh. Um, yeah, it's it's it was one of our, our first really big builds. It seems like to me. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and it, it was is before my time at Brickmania, but I I've always seen that box and said that's cool. <laughs> uh, leave a comment down below if you think we should redo and re-release. Oh, we uh, could uh, some World War One big cannons. Big can yeah. oh, big the big guns. Yeah, yeah. They're popular, and, and and we haven't done anything. I mean, think of like the advancement that's come with Brickmania over the years, like. You know, that Mariah down at the other end, all of those printed parts on there. Yeah. That is just, that is, that's like over 100 printed pieces. We could never do that in the old days. We, that, that wasn't even unheard of. Or what, wasn't, we, yeah. we just mind blowing. So we could this do is, this now. 
this was an undertaking, and I'm still impressed that it turned out as well as it did. <laughs> uh, being able to print across that many parts at once, it's, and it just turned out excellent. There's actually a bonus part, so you change the landing gear out, you have to put additional printed parts yep. on. And those are included in the bag yep. here. The, uh, the Bismarck down there, all those printed tiles on it. You got portholes. Um, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like we, we, we couldn't do that years ago. Um, the Avenger here. This has got some really, really nice uh, printing on it. So yeah, this is a beautiful kit. This is like the two-story plane. It's got the back door with the radio room back yep, there. Yeah, there's three guys inside. I, I did go through these. All three guys are in there. All the printed pieces are in there. It's it's beautiful. Um, mm. We got some of the Shermans. We have a there's one of uh, Katya's. Uh, uh, is, so is it the K the Cromwell? Oh, it's I was the Cromwell. I want to say the Comet. No. Yeah, we've got a couple of Katya's <laughs> tanks here. We've got oh, yeah, the Cromwell. Awesome we've got the KV two slash KV one. But that's I think that's a. Uh, I believe that's. That's a no. That's a. Oh, no, it's Umar. I'm yeah. sorry, that's not. That's Katya. a that's a Tiger one three one model. You got Nate's Nate Sherman. Everybody's represented here. Yeah. Uh, Mary, uh, Andrea, um, uh, Nate. It's just yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of designers represented here. Um, there's uh -huh. you know, George Hicks is, is multiple representatives. John Canepa. Um So yeah. yeah, another Umar kit, Stug Three. Yeah, oh, yeah. Huh. and that oh, Stug nice. Three is, is remarkable. Uh, yeah. It's 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 quite it's quite a nice model. Yeah, it's so, very very smooth. Some a lot of Umar's things are like high attention to detail. Maybe not like super playable. Mm -hmm. You can't fit the guys inside because all that space inside is taken up by all the all the angle adjustments. You know, yeah, all, all the, the pieces, hold the all the snot that it was required to get to the to the right hull shape. Yeah. So, yeah, Patton Sherman. Um, so I mean, kind of rare Humvees. You got the the uh, Hawkeye Humvee, the Hawkeye, Mary's yeah. Mary's uh, um, uh, Desert Storm Humvee, mm -hmm. the GMV. This is GMV one, uh, George Hicks model is one of his earliest models that he, he did. Oh, that's game. right. Yeah. So yep. love that one. Yep. John Canova's a uh, uh, half track here. This that's this a. Two, I, I still think that half track holds up. That's a really good. Oh, half it's a great. Track. It's a it's a great model. That's gorgeous. It's a lot going on there. All those yeah. printed wheels and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. It's got the suspension, you know, semi-functional suspension. Um, oh, even the, <laughs> the frogmen. The frogmen. The, the, the Italian the, frogmen. Yes. Yeah. That's. Um, I still see those those minifigures showing up on Instagram all the time. Oh yeah. Oh them. yeah. So that's a cool one. Yeah. I don't know. We, we could probably drool all over uh, okay. every model here, but. Yeah. You know, you get the gist of what's coming. So there's 51 new refurbished, refurbished new, I don't know, 51 refurbished kits being added, plus this little cache of, of uh, vintage, kits. vintage kits. They are used. Uh, they have been opened. They're not in sealed boxes, but you do have boxes and instructions. A lot of these are old enough to have certificates in them, too, and, cool. and signatures on the boxes. Not all of them, but some of them have signatures on them. Yeah. So they're old enough to, 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 to that was a standard thing. So uh, all right. it's dropping... Thursday morning, it's always the last Thursday of every month, okay. is Vault Day. Um, this isn't everything. There's lots of stuff in the vault already. Okay. Um, it is, comes at, at, at a premium price. We are setting, selling off our last display copies. You won't see them again um, once that last display model is gone. So unless you All come right. to the GHQ store, we try to keep almost one of everything on permanent display, but they're rapidly running out of space there. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in for this Vault Day episode of Brickmania TV. And I think we'll see you next time. Yep, All right. definitely see will. You.